another video my name is Anne Marie if you are new here welcome if you're not new here welcome back um, today I have for you a stocking fillers slash top up present gift guide and of course all the items that I've picked up are from Primark um, so I have this ginormous bag here full to the brim of goodies that I'm going to show you um, so yeah let's just jump straight into it so first up we have the classic Primark pajamas so they've got hers and his. Um, we'll start off with hers. The ones I've picked up are just some Bambi ones. They've got thumper on them. Um, these were these were ten pounds, and they had loads and loads of different selection. Um, obviously, loads of Disney. They had some Friends ones. They've got Stranger Things. Um, lots of different options there. They obviously do have the thicker, like toasty pajamas. But I just, as much as I love them and fully appreciate them and have numerous pairs myself, you just can't sleep in them. They are too hot to sleep in. So, I mean, they're brilliant for lounging around throughout the day in. I just find these pyjamas you can actually go to bed in. <laughs> so I picked up those ones. And then for the man in your life, they do have a small selection of men's pyjamas. But it's a good small selection. They've got Simpsons, which I've picked up here. They had Gremlins, they had Call of Duty, PlayStation. Um, so lots of different options. And they do also have fluffy pyjamas for men as well. These ones were £13. Um, I didn't, I think all the men's like this kind of cottony fabric ones were £13. I didn't see how much the fluffy ones were because I know I wasn't picking them up so I didn't bother looking. So that's the pyjamas done can't go wrong with pyjamas really you might not fit them in your stocking but they're always a good top-up gift everyone needs pyjamas at Christmas or well, everyone expects a, a pair of pyjamas at Christmas um, next up again we have the classic fluffy socks now they actually had fluffy socks in the men's section at Primark I was surprised I've never seen them before um, I mean to be fair I've never looked before because there is no way Gary would, would wear fluffy socks I just know he wouldn't and obviously Taylor's feet are too little for these ones um, but these were four pounds and they're just these are normal like primarky ones they've got a little dog with a santa hat and then these are awesome it's um it's a t-rex wearing a santa hat and beard i just think that's great yes as i say four pounds and they are in the size 9 to 12 so they should like wide wide variety there um they do also do like marvel ones and stuff so yeah we just went for these ones and then for the ladies i just went for some cute reindeer ones um, so yeah, it's like a little reindeer wearing a hat here and then these ones are just red and white spotty ones Ugh, So soft and the ladies ones are £2.50 so the ladies ones are a lot cheaper and they had a much much larger selection But again, it's probably because women are more likely to wear these um, Next up, oh my god, Primark had some really really good stationery in like if you need a notepad, if you want a pretty notepad, get yourself down to Primark. They've got so many. Um, they've got like star sign ones. They've got um, Disney ones. They've got just pretty floral ones. Like so many different ones. They've got Harry Potter ones. So many. But what I picked up was this beautiful pink Believe in Yourself planner. Now again, it may not fit into a stocking. So this may just have to be a top up gift. But they did have ones that were like planners that were smaller that would fit into a top a stocking. So this was six pounds, and you get all this inside, and I believe you get the pen as well. And so if you know someone that likes to plan their life, this is really good. Um, plan planner with pen, yeah. So it does come with a pen. Um, I just thought it was really pretty. It's like it's quite plain. It's not in your face. Just believe in yourself with old writing with a little love heart. It's it's pretty. Um, still quite conservative shall we say <laughs> um, yeah so that's six pounds next thing I picked up was this this is quartz blush perfume I uh, no word of luck you know what? I'm gonna open this because I've purchased I know we're not supposed to be buying for ourselves it's this it's almost December what is it the 20th 21st of November but I had to pick it up. This was £8, this perfume. I mean, the perfume in Primark is so good. Like, it's so cheap. And they smell nice. And they do quite, they do last quite well. Um, but this, no word of a lie, I am sure this smells... I'm sure it's Miss Dior. I'm sure it is a knockoff of Miss Dior. Oh, no, I don't know. It's a knockoff of something that is very expensive. 
that I've definitely smelt before, but I mean, even if it's not a knockoff, it smells so nice. It might not be exactly Miss Dior, but it's Miss Dior, but it smells very similar. And it was eight pounds, and it's a fairly, what is it? How big's the bottle? Doesn't say how big it is, but it's a fairly big size bottle, would you not say? Yeah, that is so nice and they had it in purple as well the purple i wasn't as fond of but i like sweet perfumes Perf the purple one was a bit more musky so if that's what you prefer obviously go for that one or you know someone that prefers a musky perfume go for the purple but i thought that was such a bargain for eight quid for like a duped perfume i'm sure it's misty i'm probably wrong you're probably gonna be like in the comments what are you talking about love it's not misty art but it's definitely something I've smelled before. And that, yeah, as I say, that was eight quid. But they have so many perfumes in there, like ranging from 350 up. So definitely have a look. Like, they're really up their game with their perfumes. Some of them are so nice. I also grabbed a perfume for men. Um, this one is called The London Streets. And that was only £3.50. Now, obviously I'm not a connoisseur in men's perfumes. So I couldn't tell if this is a dupe of anything. But I can tell you it smells really, really nice. Um, and as a good little like stocking filler, I think that's a good little gift, £3.50. Uh, oh, the next thing I grabbed, this is definitely a stocking filler because why else would you buy it? But I just think it's so, you'd have hours of fun. It's one of these little water games. You just like, you've got to try and get all the balls in the right holes. I just think that's great. It was only a pound and it's got a snowflake in, so it's Christmas. And... I'm one of those, once I start, I've got to get them all in now. <laughs> so, and that was a pound. So I think that would make such a great little stocking filler for, um, for anyone really, for the children definitely. Um, for, your, for your boyfriend, for your husband, for your mum, for your dad, like anyone. Maybe not your mum, because your mum's busy on Christmas Day, isn't she? She's like, I ain't got time for that. Um, but yeah, I think that's a great little fun for a stocking filler. Oh, this next thing I grabbed. Again, I don't think it's gonna fit in a stocking. But, I just thought it was brilliant and I had to pick it up. It is Minions Jenga. Now everybody loves a game on Christmas Day. And what could make a game of Jenga better than them being Minion style? Um, so yeah, that was only £6 as well. And actually Peyton has been on at me to get her Jenga. So I saw this and I was like, yes, I will get that. Because I was going to originally get like a Paw Patrol one from the Entertainer. Um, but, not, but she loves um, the Minions, so I thought that was really good. I mean, not even just for kids that. I would play that. I would be well chuffed if that was bought for me for Christmas, to be fair. As a little top-up gift, of course. Not my own present. Top-up gift. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that. So for any, any of you that have pets, they had quite a selection of gifts for your pets. Now, we don't actually have a pet. However, our next-door neighbour's dog... This is practically her second home. She's always in here. She's adorable. She is lovely. So we've picked up this little um, doggy bauble. That's just a giant bauble with doggy prints all over it. And it comes with my best friend treats. So the little doggy biscuit things. Uh, that was £4. And they had so many. They had like crackers with it. They had cat version as well. If you've got a cat, if you're a cat lover. They had like dog's beds, dog's bowls. So like dog little coats and stuff. So, so much for your pets if, if you're like... If you have pets. <laughs> so much stuff in front of pets. Uh, the next thing I grabbed was this You're on the Naughty List cracker. And it's just got two bath bombs in it. I just thought that was really cute. Um, that was only £2 as well. So obviously a pound bath bomb. And then they come really like, neatly packed in this cute little cracker. So shove that in. It's going to fill the stocking out quite well. Um, so obviously if you've got like a sister or even a girlfriend or a mother or something that would like these. I think that's a really good little gift and it's bath bomb sorry bath fizzle cracker with cherry fragrance so but that was really cute for two pounds good little stocking filler they had loads of like primark obviously have loads and loads of makeup um and it's not bad to be fair i, I haven't used a lot although I have a Primark lipstick and it is my favourite lipstick and I think it cost me two quid and I use it all the time. I love it. Um, so they had in the little Christmas gift section this little kit here. Is it going to show up? That was £3.50 and you get a lip oil and a lipstick. 
So again, if you've got any teenagers you need to buy for, or even like your sisters, or even your mother if she's into makeup, or anyone in your family that likes makeup, um, cute little stocking fillers, three pound fifty. They had loads, and um, they had like eyeshadows and all sorts of, of bits like stocking fillers. I picked up some silk scrunchies um, because again, it's a good little stocking filler. Every girl needs scrunchies and they're silk so they're not going to like, um, it's not obviously real silk but they're like satin. So apparently they're better for your hair, they don't pour as much. So I've grabbed those and they're in these lovely sort of autumn-y colours. Um, yeah, those were £2 for free. I picked up this little Disney makeup bag, so if you've got any Disney lovers in the family this is a really good you can either you know squish it there's like padding in here at the moment but you could squish it down and pop it in the stocking or a really good idea would be to buy some like makeup brushes and or some like little makeup to like and then like make it like a cellophane gift out of it i think that would be really nice or skincare you know pop some skincare in there um hair brushes like anything i think you could make a really good little like, gift set out of this it's really nice and it was only only four pounds and then lastly, this last thing is adorable. I know you're not supposed to buy it for yourself on Christmas, but I just couldn't resist myself. How adorable are these little brushes? So if you are a mummy and you have a little girl, or even if you have a little boy, you know, they have to have their hair brushed. Um, but it's pink, you know, each their own. Mummy and me hair brushes. I don't know how good the brush is because it doesn't show you at the back what they look like, but for four pounds, I thought that was adorable. <coughs> so yeah. I picked that up as well i mean so you could either lift like this is a good gift for a husband to give a wife i think i think it's quite thoughtful um or like a boyfriend to give his girlfriend like that type of thing i think it's really quite sweet um or for your for the daddy to buy from the daughter to mummy i think that's really sweet as well um so you can either leave them as they are and like gift wrap it to the mum or you know separate them put one in mummy's um stocking and one in one in li the little girls or the little boys stocking I just think that's really sweet. Um, so yeah, that is... Oh, last thing. I only picked up one clothing item because I feel like you need to... If you know the person really well, then you can probably shop for them quite easily. Like, Gary could shop for me easily. He actually shops for me better than I shop for myself. <laughs> um, but if you don't know them through, well, say you're buying for a cousin that you don't see very often, or just, just someone that you're not sure, just go for a jumper. Like, who wouldn't wear a beautiful roll neck cream jumper? I feel like a jumper is a safe option. Um, yeah, so this was, I think this one was £15. There's no tag on it. Um, yeah, this was 50 I'm sure it was £15. Um, and they actually had very similar men's ones as well, but it was an actual proper roll neck. There was no zip um, up in the men's section. And I, I'm, they were out. Uh, 23 pounds but again i feel that would be like a really nice gift for a man as well and they had it in navy for men as well um but yeah a jumper is always a good option i mean if you want to go all out buy them a christmas jumper because who doesn't love christmas jumper <laughs> um but yes that is everything i purchased from primark they had so much in there guys like honestly it's a shame i don't have like many girls to buy for i mean i have my sisters but we don't go mad on each other because you know she's got her kids i've got my kids we just we just don't we'll get something little but not something major but i mean like if i did have girls to buy for like older girls we've got the makeup in there is ridiculous they had like um wave hair wavers in there they had hair straighteners in there they had they had a waffle a mickey waffle maker in there for goodness sakes like seriously primark got up in their game um but yeah Thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it help, was helpful to you in some way. Um, yeah. I'll see you again soon with another video. Bye.